Hey guys, how you doing? Hopefully you're doing okay. I'm going to read through the full article here. It is once more an absolute tragedy, a horrific murder. A 10-week-old baby girl named Lily Mai Horrell St. George beaten to death. The parents have been charged with her murder. And uh, we're going to look through the full details here. So there is a trigger warning in place and there is a link in the description if you'd rather go through that in your own good time. This happened in uh, Tottenham. Uh, Tottenham's a part of London, England. The mother and father of a 10-week-old baby girl found with 19 rib fractures in a Tottenham flat have been charged with her murder and are due to appear in court next week. The scumbags in question are Darren Hurrell, 25 years of age, and Lauren St. George, 25 years of age, the father and the mother, and they face court on June the 13th. The both of them have been charged with murder of a victim under one years of age. They've also been charged with manslaughter and assault. Their daughter, 10-week-old Lily May Hurrell St. George, was found unresponsive in a flat in Tottenham in January 2018, so quite some time ago. She was rushed to North Middlesex Hospital in a critical and life-threatening condition. She was later transferred to Great Ormond Street Hospital, where she died two days later. A post-mortem examination uh, in February, and I am shocked as to why it's taken this long uh, for that post-mortem examination to have taken place. I'm not really understanding the huge delay. But a post-mortem examination in February ruled that Lily May had been unlawfully killed. She was found with 19 rib fractures, a fracture to the leg, and multiple bleeds to the brain. 10 weeks old. 10 weeks old. Beaten. Shaken. Lily May had been born two months prematurely. She had spent two months in hospital before being released to her parents. Uh, during the inquest, the coroner established that Lily May's injuries were consistent with shaking type injuries. So we've heard this before a lot. Uh, a lot of these deaths of very young children. Shaking is one aspect of... Um, their deaths in certainly several cases we've gone over over the last few weeks alone senior coroner said i have heard the evidence of several professionals who were charged with the care of lily may the doctors and nurses who were extremely concerned about lily may and that they did not believe it was safe for her to be discharged in the care of her parents so the doctors the medical staff believed that Lily May was in danger if she were to be in the care of her parents. Yet, the social workers concerned Haringey Children's Services, if I pronounce that correctly, Haringey Children's Services, they uh, facilitated the discharge. They released Lily May to the parents, even though the doctors had strongly advised against it. Um... And I guess therein lies the rub. Why is this happening time and time again? Why are social workers in various different countries, America, England, elsewhere, why are they failing so often? Uh, I mean, are we being too harsh? No, not really. Not when you're talking about children being murdered by their own parents. No, we're not being too harsh. I mean, okay. Social workers, authorities aren't going to get it right every time. Fair. But we, we've got to hope that they can do better than this. Releasing a child to the parents when several doctors, several other medical staff, other parents are all saying the parents are a danger to the child. You know, that, that's an error that's happened. Seemingly 
the two parents have avoided being charged up until April of this year. Um, so again, the article tells us, I presume that the article is correct. I guess it's perhaps incorrect. There, there are fairly often errors in these articles. Uh, but it does tell us here that Lily May was found um, unresponsive on January the 31st, 2018. Um, so if that is correct, it's taken a very long time uh, for the parents to be charged, but that has happened as of April the 16th this year, uh, with both of the parents being charged with Lily May's murder. So there we go, guys. Uh, that That's all of the information that we have. Uh, I might well follow this case to an extent um, if I see further updates in regards to this case, in regards to the progress of uh, the trial, then I might well make an update video, um, perhaps uh, at the point that the trial comes to a conclusion as to whether or not they're found guilty, um, which I frankly, I hope they do. You know, I, I say this on a lot of the videos that I make. Um, I do tend to trust the authorities. It seems like the doctors knew that there was reason, cause for concern. Um, even prior to the fatal injuries being sustained. Um, we're not really being told the full story within this article, but uh, seemingly those doctors would have had reason to be concerned. Um, is it another failing of the social workers? Seems to be. Is anything going to happen about that? Probably not. I mean, it's bureaucracy, isn't it? It's a bureaucracy, it's government-funded organisations. If there was a real will to improve these situations, they would have improved already. I mean, that's my pessimistic view. Um, I don't know. I don't like government workers, frankly. They're not sharp people. They're not intelligent people. They're not people that... Um, okay, this is me being biased, of course. This is... Uh, me making a generalization of course uh, but I don't know when you're out there in the real world working for private companies and you've got clients and etc etc there's a real motivation to perform not not in every job by any means but for a lot of jobs there's a need to perform to get things right to offer improvements to offer value and I do feel and you're welcome to disagree that in a lot of government positions uh, positions that are paid for by the government you get nice comfy salaries you get nice comfy retirement packages and you can basically just sit sit there twiddle your thumbs um, you don't need to improve anything you don't need to be dynamic and come up with improvements new strategies um, new efficiencies in fact if anything my belief is that such things are discouraged and my belief is that in these types of organizations the culture is normally set from the top and it trickles it way it trickles its way down such that anyone that does display the type of uh, will the type of desire to improve on processes which are perhaps lacking they're not encouraged if anything they're discouraged by their peers by their managers i've gone on a bit of a rant there but i think it's um, about time uh, that we you know look at social workers with a bit of a skeptical eye certainly from time to time and certainly this situation here this tragedy with lily may's death at the age of 10 weeks of age allegedly murdered at the hands of her own parents despite the medical staffs and the doctors and other parents grave concerns for the child for the child's welfare i think we do need to look at the social workers within this particular facility with a skeptical eye so that is um Haringe council if i pronounce that correctly i've never heard of that town before Haringe council Haringe uh children's services i'm going to wrap things up here guys if i've done a half decent job if this has been a worthwhile topic to have brought to your attention if I've been respectful, if I've raised some good points, please do like, comment, subscribe, share the video as you see fit. I am accepting donations. Um, there's a link in the description with a donation service, Kofi, uh, K-O hyphen 
fi.com uh, there's a link there if you want to uh, make a small donation that would be very much appreciated um, but uh, in any case I'll wrap things up at this point that's me for today I'm gonna make a, another batch of videos tomorrow do stick around if you have other people other friends or such that are interested in true crime please do mention this channel to them and uh, I'll thank you for your time